Hey guys, just want to take a look at IMX. Now, IMX is not a big mover on the day or anything, um, but this is the project I actually ended up DCAing into today. Uh, I just decided to go with this one because I'm very light in it. Now, I sold Omni uh, today at $50.22, and I really, really, really tried at $53.54, but for some reason, the Binance amp, a, a, app wasn't letting me sell, um, you know, like it used to. Uh, for some reason, I had to write in, you know, the number that I wanted to sell, and I never had to do that before. So I missed out on a few bucks. But anyways, guys, I sold $50.22. Omni now, $32.29 at the moment. So it was a great sell. Uh, and I'm glad I did it because now I can roll my profits into, you know, something that I'm really light. Um, so I picked up IMX, like I said, <clears throat> and, uh, if we look at the chart, I mean, basically IMX is back to a point where, you know, it was the last time in about January of this year. Now, this is the daily chart. Um, it did find support basically off this line where I put uh, some support. Uh, as you can see, got support yesterday, a few days before that. Uh, it got support down here. Uh, almost touched support here, almost here, touched it here, touched it here. Basically, it touched it here and also a couple of days here. So basically, $1.77 is, you know, I think a pretty good support. Um, hopefully we do not break down because if we break down, basically we're going down to this, uh, Fibonacci here at a dollar 41 or so, uh, we're going to the top of that, you know, lowest level of the Fibonacci there. Um, but you know, it can do that. It's, it's not a guarantee that, you know, it will stay up. Uh, everything depends on Bitcoin and the, the geopolitical situation at the moment, which is very, you know, like delicate we can say um anyways guys yeah i bought some i think at a uh, dollar 84 85 it doesn't matter basically the same price um maybe i should have waited uh probably could have waited it may come down to a dollar 77 78 uh, especially if we have any news you know with with iran and israel now yeah resistance up here at about a dollar 90 um, you know, if we can break that, we probably will go up to this, you know, Fibonacci where you can see actually there is support and resistance, uh, around here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of support and resistance around that Fibonacci level. So basically, you know, if we can break this dollar 90, we're going probably up to about $2 and five cents after that. You're probably looking at resistance around 220, because uh, there's a lot of touch points there. And I'll go ahead and and uh, make a little line around here, because you can see that there's a lot of support and resistance, resistance, uh, you know, resistance here actually, support, support, resistance all through here. So that's a a good place uh, to put a line. I'll make this a different color. Um. After that, guys, it looks, I mean, basically there won't be too much resistance, I think. I mean, maybe here I could put another line, $2.31. Um, let's just go ahead and mark that. I'll make that green because, you know, if we get above that, I think we'll rise up pretty quickly. Um, maybe to a, about... Yeah, $2.70 could be. There's a lot of resistance and support. But let's not get, you know, too too ahead of ourselves anyways. Um, but yeah, this is what IMX looks like at the moment. Like I said, I just DCA'd into this um, about an hour ago or so. It was about the same price. Um, Bitcoin, on the other hand, uh, you can see this is the daily chart again. Um, it is struggling again with that 63.6. Like I said, guys, if we cannot hold it, we're going down and probably going to hit 60.7 again at least. 
So at the moment, 62.5 really. Um, we still have quite a bit of time on the daily candle. Uh, four hour, let's take a look at that. Yeah, I mean, we had, you know, crossed that level and we held it for at least a couple of candles, uh, but now we've lost that. So we definitely need to get back above that. <clears throat> um, and then after that, we can worry about 65.5. Uh, and then, like I said, that trend line is above us at about 67.4, but I think that's, you know, some time away. Um, probably won't even reach it this week, I imagine, but um, you never know what news will spark a rise in Bitcoin. Anyways, uh, the halving, uh, yeah, this halving keeps going up and down, up and down. Uh, but right now it looks like it's going to be April 20th, 420. <laughs> Uh, at about 1.27 in the morning, but this, you know, in the, this morning it was April 19th and at like, I don't know, I think 10 o'clock in the morning or something, and it's been just fluctuating. So all depends on the miners. Um, so anyways, guys, yeah, it looks like, you know, the halving is, is really, really close though. There's 356 blocks remaining and uh, that's it, guys. Uh, if you like this video though, uh, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, activate the bell. See you in the next one, guys.